Welcome to another video. We've got another integration B problem and this one is a little strange and tricky. It is one of those problems that if you know what to do, it looks easy, but if you don't know what to do, it is not just difficult, it is impossible. Impossible is nothing. Okay, if you watched my previous video on nested integrals, uh, nested radicals, I solved one with the square root of the square root of, that's, it's a similar thing to this. And before you start solving, you want to ask some questions. Firstly is, does this converge? Does it get smaller with time? Okay, um, there are infinitely many. I forgot to write this. This is n times. So the number of times you take the sine of the, the sine of pi over 3, sine of pi over 3 is infinite. It goes on forever and ever. Does it converge? Well, just look at it. The sine of anything is always between minus 1 and 1. So the, the quantity, the absolute value of that is usually less than 1, unless it is pi over 2. And I don't think this is pi over 2. So clearly, this should converge. That's your first thing you want to think of. Because if this does not converge, there's no point trying to solve it. Just say it diverges. But it converges. Or we think it converges. Well, I know it converges. And that's the first question you're going to ask. The second question is, what is being repeated? Is it pi over 3 sine that is being repeated or sine pi over 3 times something? Obviously, the very first thing you see here is sine. So it means sine pi over 3 times something times. And the ve look inside. The last thing on the inside is sine pi over 3 times something. So this is what is being repeated. That's the second question you want to ask. And the third question is, do I know how to solve it? Now, if your answer is yes, go ahead and solve it. If the answer is no, you need to watch this video till the end. And before we go on, make sure you like this video, share it, and be subscribed if you learn anything new in the course of this video. Let's get into it. The first thing you want to do is check out what is being repeated because this is infinitely many if i delete this part it does not affect anything that is remaining because it is infinite okay infinity minus one so as n goes to infinity if you subtract one from infinity what's your answer it is still infinity so you can keep going and going and going and going so i can decide to delete the first sine pi over 3 and I still have an infinite number of terms remaining. So, so this is what I'm going to say. I'm going to say let, let's do the work here. Okay, so I can present this work better on this side. So you see how we have the sine of pi over 3. Um, we have this sine and then we have another one and it keeps going on forever. What I'm gonna say is, because I know what is being repeated, it is sine of something. So I'm gonna say, let, I'm gonna use the letter K. Hey, let, huh, my mind is running fast. Let K be equal to the sine of pi over three, um, sine, tap, 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 tap. That's what I'm gonna call K. Which means, let's assume I take this out, I can represent this as k. Which means, I can say that, therefore, sine pi over 3, sine tap, 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 can be written as just sine pi over 3. You see this one? This sign that is starting from here, I'm going to represent it as k. That's the toughest part of this. But if you've seen my other video on the nested radicals, then you know that is the same strategy you're going to take. Okay, you're going to use. So look at this. But remember I told you that deleting just the first one does not change the answer. I can as well say 
I told you this is gay. And I also told you that this thing I call K is the same as this. So I can say that K is equal to sine pi over 3K. It's going to get very interesting soon. Because if I can get K, I just go put K here. All of the things we have here, it is the infinite number of sine of sine of sine of pi over 3, sine of pi over 3, sine of pi over 3 then this will no longer be relevant because all I'm going to have is just the integral of k. But I don't know what k is. So what I have here is actually equal to the integral from 0 to 3 of k dx. Oh my word, you see how easy this is? If only we can solve this equation. Now the problem with this problem is that it is almost impossible. I don't know how to solve it. But there is a way and I'm going to show you what to do. So k equals sine pi over 3k. Let's try to find k. Mm, I don't know, but I can do this. Uh, I want to get rid of this sign, okay? So I'm going to take the arc inverse sign of both sides. Okay? You see, this inverse sign is going to undo this sign so that what you have on the right is just pi over 3k. But what you have on the left is inverse sine of k. Okay. Ooh. So what is pi over 3 exactly? Let's continue the work here. Okay. So let's do the rest of the work here. I'm going to erase it later. So we have, um, if we isolate k or we isolate pi over 3, we're going to say pi over 3 is equal to inverse sine of k divided by k. Mm. Now this is not limits. We could have said, oh, let's go do some funny stuff with limits, but we're not doing limits now because k is a constant, is a number. This is a number. Inverse sine also is a number. So what should you do? Now there is no straightforward way of solving this. You have to start trying numbers, and I'll tell you the fastest number you want to try. Because this is a competition, and this is pi over 3, you're used to these, your unit circle, and those numbers, those um, special numbers or special angles that you get. Pi over 3 is one of them. So what you're going to tell yourself is, if I look at my unit circle, what are those typical angles that I see and the ratios that I get? Because you see, what, you're gonna, what this is going to give you is an angle. This is a ratio. This is a number. So you're going to start thinking, if I take the inverse sine of, an, of a number, what are those common angles that I'm going to get? Okay, I don't know, but if I find the sine of something, remember k is the sine of an angle. So we're going to guess all the angles that we're going to, the values we're going to get that will give us pi over 3. So look at the options. I know that Sometimes on the unit circle, I get zero. That's a good number. Sometimes I get one. That's a good number. Sometimes I get one half. Sometimes I get rad three. Sometimes I get rad two over two. And sometimes I get rad three over three. Those are all the possible options that you can find on your typical unit circle, right? Those special angles. You're now going to try them one after the other. Firstly, zero is not K. Why? Because you cannot divide by zero. So this is out of the way. Let's try the next one. If k is 1, what is arc sine 1? It is pi over 2. Pi over 2 divided by 1 is pi over 2. It's not pi over 3. You see that? It's looking promising. You're going to get the answer soon. Let's go to the next one. 1 half. What is the inverse sine of 1 half? It's pi over 6 divided by one half. That's pi over three. We found our answer. K is one half. If you had tried other angles, you would have not gotten pi over three. Any other thing you tried, this is the best arrangement to go the next time you see a problem like this. So we can clearly say by guessing, it's not really guessing, it's intelligent guessing. Well, it's still guessing. We found that k must be one half for this to be true. 
So we say by inspection, K equals one over two yields pi over three. And that's it. If K equals one over two, it satisfies this equation. So we can go back here and integrate. Like I said, this is equal to one half the integral from zero to three dx. Well, what does that give us? It just introduces x. One half of x evaluated from zero to three, which is gonna be one half of three minus zero, which is three over two. This is the solution. Hope you learned something. Leave a comment in the comment section, like this video, share this video, be subscribed if you're not. And thanks for helping this channel. I'll see you in the next video. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.